Poppin', what's poppin'? I ain't been on this camera in a long time. No. Been on this lens, man. What's good, bro? It's good, man. How's everything, man? man feeling blessed, feeling blessed. Just trying to stay busy, trying to stay working. You know, what's See good. You. See you working, man. Mm -hmm. Seeing you out there with the big K battle. How was that? Did that boy nasty. <laughs> nasty. You know what I mean? Shouts out to Big K, man. You know what I mean? He do what he do, but you know everyone counted me out. And I just feel like I keep counting Cortez out and it's like I just keep proving y'all wrong. You feel me? So, you know, one down, a few million more to go. That's all. You know? Another day at the office. Yeah, everyone always like thinks of you as like the underdog. Like you're always gonna lose, man. How do you feel about that? I mean that 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 state of mind or just like that that type of pressure has conditioned me to become like like a whole different beast you feel what i'm saying like me feeling like the underdog has made me not only go harder but just like i want to prove everybody wrong it's that chip on my shoulder right now that is like pushing me to go further you know i always tell people maybe my Maybe my path was just different from everybody else's. Maybe I had to earn it a little bit more. But what it's conditioned me to be, and, and especially me knowing how talented I am, whether people know it or not, is pushing me to just open up so many doors at once. It's like expanding me. You know, maybe if I got it as easily as other MCs, I wouldn't have blossomed the way I needed to. And I just feel like right now, like, I'm in my prom, you know, lyrically, uh, swag-wise, just... The business, everything, you know what I mean? Everything is just on the up and up, and, you know, it's due. You know, when you put in that hard work, you can't really give up. You know, it's going to happen, and it's shown proof right now. That's what it is. Yo, so everyone on Twitter and everything saying that, that you 3 old Big K. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it's crazy because they all said he was going to 3 me. You know, but um, K did good. It was just... I just know what I'm capable of. And I know when I get to those certain points that I have to take it there, I'm gonna take it there. You know, and lyrically, I did everything. Wordplay, punchlines, bars, real shit. And it was all directed at him, you know? And um, it just shows, man. Like, yo, man, I could do everything. You know what I mean? Like, he might be able to do one thing that's good. I do everything good. You feel me? That's what makes me great, though. You understand? Like, yo, he can do all this. You can't deny that. You can't deny hot at the end of the day. You can't. Yeah. You got big battle coming up. Arsenal. World Dome 6. Make sure you get your pay-per-view or get your tickets if you can't get into Toronto. But, um, yeah, man, this is long overdue. Arsenal's been talking shit for years. I've been talking shit for years. And the people want to see that. You know what I mean? The people want to see grudge matches. There are no more grudge matches in battle rap. Everybody's cool with each other. Everybody hangs with each other. All that shit, man. That shit don't mean nothing. That shit does not create the type of atmosphere that the people fell in love with battle rap for. What me and Arsenal got going on is what the people love. You feel me? It doesn't matter who else is on that car. Me and Arsenal is the main stage. No one cares about none of them other dudes battling. You feel what I'm saying? And it's a, it's a reason. You know, Oss is the most viewed battle rapper of all time. You know, we came up around the same time. It's my time right now. So it's basically going to be the passing of the torch. You know, I mean, Oss, you was good. But, you know, you saying you losing the love for it. Don't use that as an excuse, though, in August. You know what I mean? 26, 27, world domination. Just don't let that be your excuse. Because I'm going to fuck you up, boy. Like, dead ass. Like, I'm coming for... The crown, you know what I mean? Uh, and there's no other other way to do it, you know what I mean? Avocado gonna film it. There's nothing else to worry about, bro. Show up. I'm showing up for real. Are you like preparing any any way different, or like how do you prepare for battles? I mean, I get high and I write. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what I was doing when you guys got here. You feel what I'm saying? I was getting high and I was writing. You know, um. We're not going to play around. I, I usually wait till the last minute and write. You know what I mean? Because these dudes don't motivate me. This nigga motivates me. Motivates me to the point where I need this to be the best showing. You understand? And it will be the best Cortez you've ever seen. It will be. So, 
It's nasty for you too. Oh, so I'm telling you right now. You know Darrell. Darrell. Don't cross that border playing around. <laughs> you feel me? Don't do it. You know? Um, It's been going on for too long, man. And, and, and you're just going to be another stepping stone. You know, another, 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 another head on the totem pole. At a point, I gotta prove this shit, and I'm proving it. So, let's see. That's another um, match that that you're very, un, you know, everyone thinks you're gonna lose. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me th think. Think I'm gonna lose this one. Think I'm gonna lose this one. Like, I'm telling y'all, think that. But don't say nothing. When I'm on that flight back, yo, oh, I can't believe it. You know, I really thought you could lose to Big K, but then I saw you come back. Nah, I don't want to hear none of that. Fuck with me now. You can't board a plane once it's in the air. You feel what I'm saying? All aboard. Who's fucking with me? Because when y'all don't, it's going to be nasty. Don't say nothing. But you'll see three weeks from now, when everyone hears it, they're going to be like, yo, Cortez went bananas. Like I said. Game board a plane once it's in the air, man. That's it. You know what I mean? Fuck with me now. Don't fuck with me later. Brooklyn. Right. And you also got a um track out with a um, method man we seen yeah. on Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did that come about? Um well shouts out to Meth, man, real dude. Um I met Meth back at um Mav's video with Method man. You know what I mean? And um from there, you know, we always kept in contact. But I'm not the type of dude to be running behind dudes and asking for favors, you know what I mean? I just let them breathe because I know how it is. But it's real genuine with Meth. Meth is shouting me out on interviews. He's shouting me out. Just he sees me drop a song and one time reposted it. You feel what I'm saying? I sent him my man's sample from um from um the ODB shit. And you know what I mean? I just sent it to Meth. Like, yo, Meth, what you think of this? Meth retweeted it. You feel me? Like, it's certain shit like that that... It's genuine and, and it's real, you know what I mean? I was just chilling in the hood, you know, coming from the gym and shit like that. And I saw his nephew, and his nephew was like, oh, meth in the studio. And I'm like, oh, word. So I text him, yo, what's good? You in there for a while? He's like, yeah, come through. Boop. Picked up some butt, went over there. You feel what I'm saying? We kicked it. We didn't even do the track that day. But I had just released the classic record on my SoundCloud. And he fucked with the record. So I say, yo, bro, if you want, let that be the remix. Let's do that. And he was just like, let's do it. Send me the beat. You know, and I said, alright. He told me he was on he was in New York to um he's on set for this for this for this movie. So you know, I didn't want to bother him. He had told me that his only day off was gonna be Wednesday. And you know, and then he was just like, yo, I'ma hit you on Wednesday if I go to the studio. I wasn't gonna bother him. But then I flew back from the big K battle and the nigga hit my phone like, yo, heard you cooked the white boy. And I I started laughing. I'm like, nah, that's a fact. He's like, yo, man, you know what I mean? Congrats, all your success. And these are the things that motivate me to keep mm -hmm. going harder, you know? And then he was like, yo, I'm gonna hit you Wednesday. And I'm like, yeah, cool, cool, you know? And I'm. then Wednesday comes, and he hits me like 9.30 at night, 9.45, yo, pull up. Psh, pulled up, verse was done and everything. Like, psh, it don't get no realer than that, you know what I mean? So like, salute to the OG for that, for real, bro. Forever in debt, very humbled about it, and the record is crazy. Like Meth, Meth went dumb on the record, so it's like he didn't just give me a regular verse. Like he gave me some mm -hmm. shit, you know what I mean? So it's like I'm super humbled about that. We should have that out within like another week or so, you know. But um, shouts out to Meth, man. It don't get no realer than that. That's what it is, man. Um, you also got um a tour coming up, right? Yeah, man, going on tour with my dudes, the High Rollers. Um. It's my Dallas dudes right there, man. They got the whole city. We make a movie every time we out of the town, whether it's South by Southwest, LA, Miami, ATL. Those my dudes. Um, we doing some shows with Nipsey Hussle. You know, we got a few shows with the game. So it's like I'm, I'm staying busy. You know, promoting this 16 is a better project I'm about to release. And then, you know, then we got the Arsenal battle. Then I got the game shows. And then after that, I come back to New York, and you know I should be around that time, mid September. I'll release a full project, you know. That's what it is. How about um, URL of uh, Born Legacy? Are you uh, on that card? I'm not on the Born Legacy card. I was offered somebody on the Born Legacy card, but I turned it down. 
At this point, Cortez with URL, I want certain names. You know what I mean? Like, I've made it clear that I've done enough favors on that stage. I feel like I'm owed some favors. You understand? Because I always show up. Whether my opponents don't show up is a different story. You know? Things get vaulted and shit. But it's never been Cortez's fault it was vaulted. You know what I mean? You see Cortez. Cortez battles John John. I show up. You know what I mean? Cortez battles Chilla Jones. I show up. The two on twos. I showed up. Cicero. Cicero. I got crazy with Cicero. You feel what I'm saying? Like you give me the battles, and 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 you don't never have to worry about Cortez. I don't know if it, if that really sticks in their mind like that, but you never have to worry about Cortez writing three rounds, coming with three rounds, performing at anything. And I think the fans are speaking up and saying it like, yo. We want to see him on that stage, and we want to see him against certain names. So, you know, I told you already, if it's not Rum Nitty, if it's not Calico, or if it's not Sue Surf, it's a waste of my time. It is. I've battled all the greats, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, who's really left? If y'all have somebody that's, that's interesting, I'll consider it, but I'm not taking none of these PG dudes or none of that no more. You feel me? I'm not. You know, I kind of feel like... What I did with Cicero was those those three rounds right there, a lot of niggas can't fuck with those rounds. You know what I mean? I showed dudes what I could do on the stage in Atlanta against John John. You know, that was a thousand plus people for that event at A3C. Um, even with the Uno Lavos battle, like I killed them. We all know why it's vaulted, but I killed them and that was a crowd, you know? Same thing with Chilla, same thing with the two on twos. Like, you put me on the stage, man, you don't ever have to worry about Cortez. I don't know if they really you know what I mean? If, if, if they get it, if they're paying attention, but I'm just going to keep working. You know, um, my list is there. Anybody else is interested, you let me know. What, maybe an ill will? I think we had spoke about ill will, but it's not going to be no, no one lower than that. I want the battles that make sense. I want the battles that are really going to motivate and push my name to get to a certain plateau. You know, Cortez has been doing this for too long. I'm solidifying a resume. Whether URL wants me to be a part of that, their, their, their resume and their legacy is up to them. I know what I'm doing over here, though. But like I said, after this Arsenal battle, a lot of things will make sense. That's what it is. What do you think about the um, two-on-twos? I love it. It brings something innovative to, to, to Battle Rap last year. Battle Rap was kind of getting stagnant, so shouts out to NWX for that. You know, never forget the legends like... Marvin Quest or the Source and Ilmac, but what DNA and Kayshawn did last year sparked a whole new interest. You know, that's why we battled them, me and Math. You know, and then um with the two on two event, that just that was just super dope. You feel me? And and, and you real, that was super dope with them having that because no one's ever done that before. On that type of level. You know, and the crowd, everybody loved it. Like I was at the event. It wasn't drawn out, people weren't tired, none of that. The shit was popping. And it moved, you know what I mean? So it's like, that shit is great. I do feel like now it needs to be maybe once a year we have an event. I don't think we need to keep doing it. You know, keep it fresh, keep it refreshing. You know, new teams and shit. But um, definitely though, you know what I mean? Definitely. It's a dope thing for Battle Rap. Alright. <clears throat> How about um, any updates on with the NYB movement? Um, me and Math, we just came back from Canada. You know, um, I was just in LA with Hollow the week before that. Um, shout out to Hollow, he's in a new movie. You know, Math got um ACMD ACMD four dropping, which is gonna be crazy. You know, I was hearing a lot of cuts from that. Um, you know, D Chambers is always working. He got the new um the the the, the all of my niggas record featuring Manola Rose. Make sure y'all fuck with that and the just ah record. You know what I mean? It's yeah. crazy. You know, I got my project. A lot of us are really just trying to solidify our feet and, and, and plant our feet in certain things, you know. Math is going beyond the battles. I'm going beyond the battles. Chambers is working the clubs the same way I'm working the clubs. You know, Hands is out in VA working on a project. Hollow is just doing everything. You know what I mean? Like, you got to salute it. We all working. We're all busy, but we all get on the horn. We all talk, you know. So, it's a good thing. You know what I mean? It's definitely a good movement. You was there. Yeah. We was recording the album. You yeah. know what I mean? You was there. So, like, you know I still got those records here. So, yeah. You know, it's a good thing. I think we all learn from it. We mature from it. You know, we've grown. And I think we've all come into, like, our own artists at this point. So, like, 
the peep once once we all solidified, I know the people are gonna want to see it, and then like perfect timing again. You know what I mean? That's what it is. Yeah, and how do you feel about like um, they saying like some battle rappers they can't do tracks or like you know they can only battle? That shit is like that shit is like such a stigma. Man, there's a lot of people that just can't make music. Period. Don't just say battle rappers. It's a lot of niggas that suck. Nothing else to say. As far as I go, I know I know how to make music. You know what I mean? My shows speak for themselves. You know the responses to the music speaks for themselves. You don't see people making records like for the fame and never die and, and the gotta go videos I got. My videos are up there with with, with, with top notch fucking artists. You know? So, you know, I invest in myself as an artist. And and when you invest in yourself like that, you can only be taken serious, and that's what's happening, you know? Like, people are respecting the music, so... I don't care what they say about other people. I'm not other people. I'm the exception, you know? And like I say, man, when you when you hear Cortez as a brand, you just know it's hard work, you know it's an effort put behind it, and you know you're gonna get quality stuff. At the end of the day, what else can I give you, you know? Sort of Consistency. Really. Seven, eight years strong, just consistent. You know what I mean? Like. A lot of people ain't doing that. A lot of people ain't that good to do that either. Definitely right about that. Yo, so, like, you've traveled a lot. What, what's some of your favorite places, man? Like, you know, what's some of the good moments you've had out hey, there? Hey, man, good moments. The good people with marijuana. Denver. I love Denver. You know what I mean? Love the marijuana out there. You know, um, I fuck with Cali. L.A. L.A. to be exact, like, the women out there, man, it's just beautiful, bro, like, beautiful. Same thing with Toronto, you know. Um, Dallas, just when I go fuck with my high roller niggas, like, I just feel like a boss, like, you know what I mean? Like, it just be lit out there. And then, you know, you got Miami, you got ATL, you know what I mean? Those are, like, the main other cities that are, like, popping. But, you know, it's like, I really just, like, I have a great time everywhere, you know what I mean? I'm just blessed enough that I'm plugged in with enough people in, in certain states that, I'm gonna get it popping regardless. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get it jinking regardless. So, you know, when you just got that, that shit about you, when you're talking with people and shit, people gravitate. You know, and, and I've, uh, you know, over the years, I've acquired that, 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 that niche on how to do that. You know what I mean? And it's like I've just been planting my seed and just fucking with people. You know what I mean? But I'm trying to expand more. I love London too. You know, but I wanna go to like Italy. I wanna go to all these places. You feel me? Spain. You know, New Zealand and, 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 all these other spots, man. Like, I'm with whatever. You know what I mean? Just want to have a good time, live life, and see the world do what I do best, rapping. You know? That's what it is. So, what else you got coming up? Um, it's the tour with Nipsey. Um, the show with the game in September. Um, we'll be at A3C in Atlanta. The King Cortez project will be out by then. Uh, 16s and Better will be out probably a week or in a week or two so you know whenever this drops it might it might be out already um besides that bro bars women we that's it <laughs> yeah i mean What's um up? i'm just blessed man i'm in a good mood right now man i'm fucking niggas bitches you know what i mean and i'm smoking out of niggas packs man i'm good right now <laughs> <laughs> and i get to kill all so what else can i say you know what i mean i can't complain man i'm good <laughs> You know? That's what it That's is. That's what it is, man. Freak genius, you heard? Brooklyn, Murdab Gang, at Cortez underscore HSP. Make sure y'all hit the Gmail. Cortez Politics at Gmail. Fuck with me, man. I'm working, man. Check my snaps, too. My shit's be funny. I might have your bitch on it, though. You heard? Twerking and shit. It's only seven seconds, eight seconds. Don't be mad. It'll race tomorrow. Hopper.